This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we are in the new 2020 Toyota Camry, courtesy of Hanover Toyota in Hanover, PA. And so there actually has been some pretty substantial changes for the 2020 Camry. And I, of course, am excited to bring them to you guys today. So as always, let's start with pricing. And so let me start by saying there are more trim levels on the Camry than any other car I have ever reviewed, and I've reviewed around 400 of them at this point. First trim level is the L starting at $24,295, LE for $24,840, XLE for $29,325, SE for $26,040, SE Nightshade Edition, you can imagine that is the all black edition of the Camry. That one is going to start at $26,740, XSE for $29,875, T RD, which is the sportier trim level, of course, of the Camry. That one starts at $31,040. Then you have the XLE V6 for $34,450, XSE V6 for $35,000 even. And then you have three hybrid trim levels. That's going to be the hybrid LE for $28,250, hybrid SE for $29,950, and hybrid XLE for $32,550. So quite a bit of trim levels for the 2020 Camry. But so then when it comes to the power plant of the Camry, it does get a little simpler there. First engine setup is going to be the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder and that's going to be included on any of the trim levels that do not have a V6 attached to them or hybrid. But that one puts out anywhere from 203 to 206 horsepower at 6600 rpm. 184 pound feet of torque available at 5000 rpm sent to the front wheels through an eight speed automatic giving you MPGs at an impressive 29 in the city 41 on the highway. That is actually better than most subcompact and compact cars out there and considering the size of the Camry that is honestly insanely impressive. But so then you have the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. This particular engine setup is going to be included on the V6 trims of course as well as the TRD trim level. But so with this one power comes in at 301 horsepower at 6600 rpm, 267 pound feet of torque available at 4400 rpm. Once again set to the front wheels through an 8 speed automatic giving you MPG numbers at 22 in the city, 33 on the highway there. And so lastly I did not want to leave out the hybrids. There is a 2.5 liter hybrid four cylinder engine, 176 horsepower power 5700 rpm 163 pound feet of torque at 5200 rpm sent to the front wheels this time through a cvt so the hybrid actually does not use the eight speed but rather a cvt transmission giving you mpg numbers at 44 in the city 47 highway for the xle and se and actually 51 city 53 highway for the le so a little bit different depending on the trim level of that hybrid and i did want to also mention those hybrid trim levels actually add some drive modes including eco normal sport and EV, which adjusts things like the shift points, the throttle response, and actually the climate control as well. And I should also mention, you do also get drive modes for the XSE, XLE, and TRD trim levels. Kind of the same setup, eco, normal, and sport adjusting the throttle response, shift points, all that fun stuff. But anyway, now that I have mentioned all of those power plants, let's go ahead and do an acceleration here in the 2020 Camry. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. Okay, it's pulling. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not too bad at all. Certainly no issues with merging onto the highway. And by the way, I do have the four cylinder set up today, but still even with the four cylinder, it's over 200 horsepower. So definitely not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway. It actually, it is a pretty decent acceleration there considering the miles per gallon you get with it. Definitely a good setup for the Camry. Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will have 12 inch ventilated front discs and in the back 11 inch solid rear discs. And this is essentially gonna be standard on all trim levels, but the TRD trim level, that is the only trim level that is actually gonna upsize the brakes, giving you 12.9 inch ventilated front discs with dual piston front calipers and the same size rear setup, but the front size rotors are upgraded. Also with that TRD trim level, that is gonna add red painted front and rear calipers as well, a little sportier of an appearance there. Overall though, as far as the braking feel goes, I have had absolutely no issues in my short test drive today in this Camry, so certainly brings you to quite a nice stop, no brake pedal delay or anything like that, so that's always a good thing. Touching on suspension and handling a little bit, up front you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension with the stabilizer bar. In the back, a multi-link rear suspension, again with the stabilizer bar, and once again with that 
TRD trim level. That is gonna add track tuned front and rear coil springs as well. So a little stiffer handling for heavy cornering. So that's always fun, right? But anywho, as far as ride quality goes, it's soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfections pretty nicely. I'm going through some pretty bad roads right now, quite honestly, but there we go. Now we got some better roads, but yeah, definitely no issues with the ride quality. It's just fine. The steering feel is good as well. Not the heaviest feel in the world, but it is a Camry. So it is pretty much as expected there. When it comes to cabin noise, again, it's pretty much as expected. Definitely no issues there either. And touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Definitely excellent visibility with the Camry. And I did want to also mention there is a head up display that is going to come standard for the V6 trim levels. And I actually do happen to have that today. It is giving me a compass on the left and my speed on the right. So that is, of course, going to help you better keep your eyes on the road, enjoy the drive a little bit more. So that's always a good thing in my books. But that is about it for the driving dynamics of the Camry. Let's now move on to the exterior, as well as I'm going to be mentioning some of the new things about this new 2020 Toyota. To Camry. All right, so making our way to the 2020 Camry, that front fascia is actually going to differ slightly amongst the trim levels. For example, the L trims are going to come with a more conservative styling up front. S trims are going to have a little more aggressive styling, including more black accents. Of course, that's what you're looking at right now since we do have the XSE trim level today, but any trim with an L in it are going to replace those black accents with body colored accents, essentially. And I did want to also mention if you went with that TRD trim level, you will get some red trim details as well, but to the sides there, LED headlights will come standard on every single trim level along with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. That's always nice. LED daytime running lights are going to come standard as well, and you will find black housings for the headlights if you were to go with the TRD trim level. Otherwise, you get clear housings, which of course is what you're looking at right now. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side on this one. Chrome window surrounds are gonna come standard for all trim levels, but the TRD and the nightshade trim level, of course, with the nightshade being more of the black accent package that is gonna replace those chrome trim accents around the windows with black, of course, as expected. <laughs> Taking a look at the side mirrors, there will come power adjustable side mirrors standard for all trim levels. They will be heated with integrated turn signals if you were to go with XLE or XSE trim levels. And I did wanna mention looking down a little bit the side skirts are going to also differ amongst the trim levels again we're looking at the xsc right now that is what those look like but if you went with the trd trim level you will find some red accents along with a little more aggressive look to them as far as the side skirts go and i do like the lines on the side of the camera as well there is a line that goes straight through the doors all the way to the fuel tank back there definitely looks good but now let's go ahead and take a look down at the wheel setup because once again they are going to differ pretty substantially amongst the trim levels 16 inch steel wheels with covers you're going to find with the l trim level 17 inch alloy wheels with the le 18 inch alloy wheels with the xle or xle v6 or the se and 19 inch alloy wheels for the xse or trd trim levels but to that about rounds out the side let's make our way to the back rear deck lid spoiler are going to come standard on the se trim trim levels and since we do have the XSE that is of course what you're looking at right now there's going to actually be a performance rear spoiler if you were to go with the TRD trim level as well so it's not going to be sitting on the trunk it's going to be raised up a little bit so more aggressive there once again L trim levels of course will have a spoiler delete meaning there is no spoiler whatsoever and looking at the taillights they're actually going to be LED taillights for every single trim level and I do happen to like the design of these back here as well also trim level badging can be found on the right side in the back there and when it comes to the exhaust you will find a single exhaust outlet with the l l e and x l e trim levels dual tips with the se and then you will actually get dual exhaust outlets with the trd and x l e v6 and perhaps the best looking exhaust setup can be found on our x s e trim level that we have today dual exhaust outlets with quad chrome tips so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So, but now 
now since we are round back when it comes to opening that rear trunk there actually is a button on the key fob so you can simply just use that if you like however there is also a rubberized button on that rear trunk as well so feel free to use either way but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 14.1 cubic feet for the L trim level and actually every other trim level is going to give you 15.1 cubic feet interestingly enough did want to mention there are some grocery hooks in that rear trunk as well as a 60 40 split meaning there's rear seats do fold down and that is by the way for the le trim level and up but meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space if you needed it there but then making our way to the rear leg room that is going to come in at an even 38 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there and for the LE trim level and up, those rear passengers will also find a rear center armrest with cup holders. There is going to be rear ventilation for the XLE and XSE trim levels as well. And overall, testing those rear seats out, I did find them quite comfortable, so certainly no issues there. Making your way to the front seats, you're going to find cloth seating for the L and LE, soft text upholstery for the SE and TRD trim levels, and if you wanted leather seating, go with the XLE or XSE trim levels. So, of course, that is what you're looking at right now. And by the way, those front seats that we have today, they are heated and ventilated as well. So that was pretty cool. Did happen to like the ventilated seats, although it's kind of cold out today. So the heated seats are on, but still pretty cool that they have both. But let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is a three spoke steering wheel and it will come leather wrapped for all trim levels, but the L and LE trim level. And I did want to also mention there is a heated steering wheel that is available as an option. It doesn't come standard, but it is available for you for those super cold days in Pennsylvania you like this morning for instance but so then when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys key here you do have your toyota logo on the one side and actually says camry right below the toyota logo as well so it is a camry specific key that's pretty cool anyways when you flip it over lock unlock and get that button to pop the rear hatch and i did want to mention there is actually a push button start for the xle xse and trd trim levels so therefore that is what we have today that is located just by the driver's right knee so all i am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there and so, but then once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a digital display front and center. To control what is on that digital display, there are steering wheel mounted controls on the left side there. And that's going to give you a ton of different things, like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's a compass, there's audio information, safety information when you need your next oil change, basically a ton of different things you could check out there if you wanted to. But now let's make our way to overall interior quality. Panoramic glass moonroof is gonna come standard on the V6 trims. And although we don't have a V6 trim level, it is optional on some of the other trim levels with the exception of the TRD. That is one trim at least I know that this panoramic glass moonroof is not available for, but interestingly enough, but we do happen to have it today and it goes all the way into the rear seats. Everybody gets a view of the sky. So I'm definitely a fan of it personally. Wireless phone charger is gonna come with the XL LE and XSE trim levels that is just in front of the shifter there and overall I absolutely love the design of the interior and I say the design because one of my favorite parts there is some dark aluminum trim that kind of starts just to the right of the cup holders and it kind of makes an S shape around the tech display all the way up to the center air vent so that is one of the coolest design features in my opinion and there's also a carbon fiber look just above the glove box there there is red leather with some contrast stitching on that red leather once again above the glove box and I do like the two-toned interior that we have today I absolutely love the red leather interior as well and that perhaps is just me I love different and there are also home lane controls to up to three different garage doors found on the rear view mirror there and just up top of that wireless phone charger there's going to be a 12 volt power outlet as well as a USB charging port again dual cup holders the driving mode buttons are located just behind the shifter if I didn't mention that already there is an electronic parking brake as well and just behind the cup holders you're going to find those heated and ventilated seat buttons and just behind that there is an insanely deep center armrest cubby area at least for a sedan usually you find these deep cargo areas in suvs but 
not this deep in a sedan so that is pretty cool a ton of storage there and there's actually two usb charging ports right there as well within that area so that is pretty cool too so overall interior quality when it comes to lexus and toyota they always get it right in my opinion so i of course am definitely a fan there let's make our way to the tech display this is one of the major changes for the 2020 camry get ready seven inch color touchscreen display will come standard bluetooth and audio streaming will come standard with that apple carplay and android auto is now standard on the 2020 toyota camry well done toyota for having android auto now a big fan of that factory navigation system is going to be optional on the camry we do happen to have it today though and of course you can check out your radio settings up there and by the way when it comes to the sound system six speakers will come standard on all trim levels but the v6 trims that is going to give you a nine speaker jbl audio system with a subwoofer that is an optional for some of the four cylinder trims like we have today and we do have that optional nine speaker JBL sound system. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on Sirius XM here and let's test out the clarity of this one. Oh, Not sure about this song, quite honestly, but dang, there is a ton of bass. And like I did mention, there is a subwoofer, but bass is very well done in this Toyota Camry. Clarity is pretty good as well, but the bass is really what impressed me on this one. But last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display is when you do put the Toyota Camry in reverse, you will have a rear view camera for every single trim level, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first thing on safety I wanted to mention is the Toyota Camry is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, and that is the very highest rating IHS gives out so well done Camry it doesn't get any better than that front side inside curtain airbags will come standard as well as driver and passenger knee airbag that definitely doesn't come standard on all manufacturers out there in the back you're gonna have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also back there rear child door locks there's a tire pressure monitoring system but also here's where it gets good Toyota safety sense is gonna come standard for all trim levels what that includes is a pre-collision system with pedestrian Pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. And that is where the car brakes and accelerates based on the speed of the car in front of you when you're on the highway. That is pretty cool. It's very convenient. Did want to also mention XLE and XSE trim levels. We'll also add to that a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.